Okay, so this video is gonna be kind of a critical analysis, a critical opinion about Let's take a look at some of his recent unproductive, obscene, and offensive content. <sighs> Fucking dick riders riding his cock. Buddy, that guy's man. a dick riding, dick sucking <laughs> bitch. All these fucking dick riders dick deep riders. throating. I think Dirty Rider's gonna be a fucking ball cancer. He's completely crazy. I mean, this guy is insane. He's a nerd. He's insane. I can't sit there and jack off the old faggots. I just can't fucking do it. I'm rocking the booty shorts. You know, you guys can uh, sit back, stay miring. You can be jealous of my aesthetics. Blue collar ass. Oh, yeah, there's a homeless crack whore. You would have to get like 10 roommates, but to be honest with you, I don't want to end up smelling like curry. Twitter is so important, guys. A lot of people don't work on their Twitter, but you gotta understand, this is where the kids are at, this is where all the young people are at. I tried to get her to masturbate today on the phone. You want this pussy stench? Can anybody relate to that? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like, it's hard to explain, it almost smells like... Uh, but I do want to say this, I feel like the kind of content that I've been creating lately, you know, it does draw more people in than just vegans. High school dropouts, college dropouts, retard dick sucker, sticking bananas up her butt and then vegan. eating the bananas and talking about how delicious they are. You yeah, just have some fucking jerk off inspiration. During Rider, every guy needs a little jerk off so inspiration. Oh my god, I can't fucking stand this YouTuber. I want to, you know, I really want to draw non-vegans in here, and like, I don't hate you, I love you just as much as I love my non-vegan viewers. Because I'm just a social media personality. As long as they're spelling my name right, I really don't care what they say about me, to be honest with you. <sighs> During Ryder's anal cavity, I look at my hair. All these stupid vegans on YouTube complain about shitting and pissing in buckets. I would get right up in between those butt cheeks and take a breath and, and really recognize. Vegan gains his dick. <sighs> During Ryder's dick. He's got no aesthetics. Vegan propaganda. You even just start reducing the amount of meat and dairy products in your diet. I, I can live with that, man. I can live with that. Because I'm just a social media personality. A thirsty fame whore. Yeah, vegans like to make all kinds of fucking health claims about bending her over that fucking desk and just That's shoving it in their ass. Girl. Dude, the pull-out method's always worked for me. Touch. If you want to eat shit in a bucket, nigga, that's fine. I want to show you a picture of this chick smoking crap. I would fuck the shit out of her. And there are like these pasty ass white chicks with these really bright colorful tattoos and they have gauges and just like really kind of gross stringy hair that looks like it hasn't been washed in a while. Portraying this image of vegans that is like harsh and cruel and uh, you know sadistic. I just would not go out of my way to go and hang out with people where the only thing I have in common is veganism. Why should I take time out of my day, okay, out of my busy schedule to go and hang out with what's generally, I, I would say, you know, a bunch of stinking, dirty, hippie, vegan weirdos. They're gonna shit in a, and piss in a fucking pot and throw it in a compost pile outside. Well, that's why I don't, that's why I don't really respond to the fucking, uh, the haters, because first of all, well, all of them have smaller platforms than I do, so there's no reason for me to, like, respond to them. Nigga, people that went to this restaurant, uh, were the kind of the stereotypical image of, uh, of, uh, the hipster vegan. And just the people that were there, whether they were vegan or not, the people that were there generally kind of acted differently and looked differently and dressed differently. The gauges, um, it was really pasty white girls with really colorful tattoos up and down their arm. You know, they're not very fit, so they don't look like they're into weightlifting or into fitness or aesthetics or anything like that. We're talking about people that don't go to the gym. Not generally people that I would probably associate with, other than the fact that they're vegan. It didn't look like these people were, were really into fitness or into weightlifting or anything like that. If I could find fellow vegans in my hometown that would hang out at the gym with me, that wanted to do bodybuilding, that were into weightlifting, that were into social media, that were into the same kind of music I, I listen to. You know, a lot of times in, in these kind of scenes, um, drug use potentially is, is very prevalent. I'd become a, a social media personality. We're about to hit 5K, and I really do appreciate everybody subscribing to my channel. I wish um, the vegans in this town uh, 
Um, if, if I knew any, I, I, I wish there were people that were, were like me. Fucking activism! I've met a handful of vegans at my school now, but even then, I mean, we're talking about people that are judging people, calling people out. I mean, who, as vegans, who are we to judge anybody? Gages. By first impressions, the people that hang out in there, really just, I, I don't I don't feel like a huge um, connection. I don't think I have a lot in common with those kind of people. It's fucking gay as fuck! Because you may be turning a lot of people off. <sighs> the insensitive nature to his content. Look at a fat chick's asshole with shit on it. Gary Rusky, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, bro, but you are failing miserably. I hate all human beings.